So we're, um, we're live here from West London, walking down Labrook Grove. Let me spin the camera around so you can see where I'm walking. This is past Kensal, past Kensal House. And here we have Labrook Grove. I've recently just walked over the Grand Union Canal and I'm heading down towards Labrook Grove, towards North Kensington, towards sort of Notting Hill Gate. I don't know how long my, <laughs> my stream will, have, um, will hold out, but I'm hoping for some good, uh, good internet connection through here. If you're tuning in on a Sunday evening for my regular video, apologies that this wasn't advertised well in advance because I usually post my videos around 6 o'clock, 6.30, and we're going live at 5 o'clock. I'd like to take advantage of the great weather that we've got at the moment. Got a rare bit of dry weather, which is one of the reasons I'm doing a live stream this week. Because every time I've gone out for a walk in the last couple of weeks, it's been raining. Hiya, Jay. Hiya, Lisa. Hi, Ross. Hi, Roman. Say hello to everybody who's joining the chat. Say where you are if you like, and if you want to, um, yes, exactly. Fingers crossed for a, a long walk. I hope so, anyway, because this is a great walk down through here. Hi, Vishal. Hi, Ralph. How are you doing? Um, uh, Bushwood, Andrew Stevens. <laughs> Hi, Andrew. How are you doing? You're right, mate. I'll see you for a pint later, maybe, Andrew. Uh, South London near Greenwich. Greetings from Northwest London, from Walthamstow, Black Horse Road, from Switzerland, from Washington State. Ralph. Raj, over there in East Ham. How are you, Sean? How are you doing? Well, today, um, Jay, I'm in, I'm walking down Labrook Grove. Vishal in Chingford. I'm walking down Labrook Grove, walking south. And um, I've done a, a couple of walks up here, actually, for another project, uh, which I'll tell you more about when it goes live, which won't be in an amazing amount of time. And um, yeah, I just thought I'd, connect with you live. I wanted to do more live walks and more live streams, but I've always been slightly concerned about the logistics. But I feel fairly confident that we can get a solid signal walking down through here, down through Labrook Grove. Let me turn the camera around. I'm going to keep flipping between me and the environment. It's a bit of live editing. This is Barley Road. I guess that's harking back to when this was all fields. That's looking in the direction of Wormwood Scrubs down there. Which I think there were lots of piggeries around Wormwood Scrubs, I believe. That's pretty rough land. The Counters Creek is running in that direction down there. Hiya, Paul. How are you doing? Good evening. Lovely weather. It is lovely weather, Sean, isn't it? And this is where we're going to go down through here, through Labrick Grove. Classic kind of those classic Labrick Grove houses. Uh, performance, the great Nick Roeg film. It's kind of this neck of the woods, isn't it? Labrick Grove, Notting Hill Gate. I'll try and keep the camera nice and steady. I don't have it on a gimbal. I'm using my iPhone. Hi, Gary from Cricklewood. Well, I'm not that far away from you, really, Gary. Well, I mean, some ways I am. You're sort of over there, back over the bridge, a little bit further east. Hi, uh, uh, Ange, Ange East. Apologies if I haven't pronounced your... Hi, Robert from South Wales. Look at this. Nice to see you go live. Humble. Thanks, Humble. I really... Yeah, this was something... I've done, I've done probably a handful of these over the years, and it's something I've always wanted to do as a thing really going back to when I did the remapping High Wickham project this is something we tried to do but I'd have to send this 2004 2005 so I'd have to send video clips this is before there were sort of things like YouTube and Instagram and, that, and Twitter and all that stuff so I used to send I sent um, video clips back to my sister in a hub and she would post them on a big screen and then people would try and give me directs and directions and ask questions of course now you just do this just live stream it so Maybe this will become a regular feature. Let me know in the comments what you think, if you think this would be a good idea as a regular feature. Maybe I can plan these and schedule them. Hi, Tom from Streatham. How's the ankle? 100% yet, Brian? To be honest with you, Brian, no, is the honest answer. I, mean, I walk quite well when I walk, but I really know about it the day afterwards. And I don't think I can kick a ball. Let me just show you this lovely mural here. This is on, um, I don't know the name of this, but this is Paul House. There's a lovely bit of artwork here. Oh, these are photos. It's like a photo thing on the, on the wall. Oh, thank you to the person who's reading the book. Like a choose your own adventure book. Kind of thing, yeah. Monthly live videos and we could all be waiting for you at the end of the pub. Oh, well, that's a lovely idea. Come to Brentwood, some lovely countryside. Actually, Raymondo, one of the previous live streams I did was from Brentwood, actually. From the, um, 
North Weald Country Park, I did a live stream. But I think in the end I lost my signal. That's the problem with doing it out in places like that. Positive spirit, thank you very much. This positive spirit here, yeah, I love this kind of community artwork. Let's return to, um, to Labrick Grove. I'll try and keep the camera, stop and keep the camera still for a while. Wow, we've got 130 people on the stream, that's amazing. Are you sex, uh, the sexier version of Annika's Challenge? I'm not sure that's how I would describe it. Come to Leicester. Do you know what? I should come to Leicester. I really like Leicester. Do you know what I really like is the artwork of these estate maps that you get. They're often really thoughtfully designed. Look at this one here. Showing us where we're going. We should probably branch off for Portobello Road, shouldn't we? I know people want to see that. Hi there, in Raynham. This is great. Oh, great. Yeah, I love video. I mean, I like the live video. Oh, look, there's some public artwork on the other side. Can I zoom with this? Let's have a go, see if I can zoom, see if I can get you in there. I can. Hiya Marco, how are you doing? Down in Glastonbury. I think we'd struggle to do a live stream from Glastonbury, wouldn't we? And here is a classic bit of uh, West London. This is kind of classic London montage sort of scenario, isn't it? Okay. Oh my God, thanks, I'm from New Zealand. Rich in New Zealand, hang on, Rich, isn't it like the middle of the night in New Zealand? What's it, seven, eight, nine hours, five o'clock? Yeah, it's well after midnight up there, isn't it? Down there, around there. I mean, you should walk to the source of the Maysbrook North Chapel. I should do the whole of the Maysbrook. I've done Maysbrook Park before. Oh, I do miss London, definitely need to be back. I think London needs you back, Marco, doesn't it? 4 a.m., Rich. You've got the kind of habits I used to keep till quite recently, actually. Let's go, yeah, let's go, Ninja. Anarchist Challenge sounds like a offer. Yes, Anarchist Challenge, what would that be? Anarchist Challenge would just be going around breaking rules, no? I'm not sure, sorry, to my anarchist friends there. So I need my eldest son to explain to me how that would work. Hi from Cheltenham. Cheltenham in the Cotswolds. Which walk would you suggest I do from the City of London Ordnance Survey book first? City of London Ordnance Survey book. I don't know what that book is. Um, I don't know what that book is. How do I get the chat back up? Sorry, excuse me if you can see my... Um, let me turn it around while I scroll through comments. Um, City of London walks... Well, I'll tell you, John Betjeman's City of London churches is a good walk. I miss British towns and cities, says Austin. So much more character than Canadian ones. Hi from the south of Spain, Marianne. Darren, please give my beautiful wife, Lisa, a big shout out. Big fans. Hiya, Lisa, how are you doing? Hope you're well. Uh, somebody got in touch recently about, oh, I shouldn't say it because I'd kill the surprise, but the person got in touch recently about meeting up to surprise somebody. Let me know. Did I give you my phone number? If not, I will. Whereabouts are you now? I'm still going down Labrook Grove. You can see the houses here, classic house, West London. Sir John Rogers. It was John Rogers the martyr. Marky Mark, how you doing, Mark? Have you checked the weather forecast? Rainy London. Well, this is why I'm doing it now, actually, because I don't know how long this sunshine will last. You should do Notting Hill. I should do a proper Notting Hill video. We're going to go that way today, but it won't be the proper one. Any more Ian Sinclair and Alan Morbids coming up? All the best, Ross. Ross, there will be an Ian Sinclair video next week. I shot it yesterday. Ordnance Survey book in City of London called Ordnance Survey. I'm going to crack on, actually, a little bit, because... Let's see, uh, Joel saying, John, I love your videos. Jay saying, I just posted it on the group. Let's see if it helps with the numbers. Oh, thanks so much, Jay. That's really appreciate it. Yeah, a bit of Bayswater. Yeah, there is a, so there is a video I want to do around here. Um, somebody, a few videos ago, asked me if I'd done the, um, what was it called? The Islington Spur Walk. When I looked it up, it's actually where I used to live. Never heard it called that before, the Islington Spur. And there's another spur walk down here, which I think is basically uh, around. It's, well, we might see it actually. Um, there, there is a big hill in the middle of Notting Hill, isn't there? And there's a walk, a great walk in that Secret London book. Or is it called Hidden London? I think it might be called Hidden London. It walks around that spur. It looks really good. Um, I could have tried to film it today and get it up tomorrow, but I'd rather just do this live and then we'll come back and we'll do that walk properly. Here's the Eagle Pub on Labbrook Grove. Eagle Pub, Labbrook Grove, here's a marker for you in case you want to find me on, the, uh, on Google Maps. If it starts raining, it might get washed away yeah, in the floods. Hi from Middlesbrough. 
Good afternoon, Kev. How are you doing? Love your channel. You still got it sharp and those clappers. All the best from Cape Town. Yeah, I am. Um, definitely. That is definitely... Um, sharp and hoe clappers definitely on the agenda. I want to do that with the brilliant Dave Bins, though. We've been planning to do it for about two years. Of course, the pandemic got in the way. This is uh, Telford Road. So, by the way, because I can't use my map and live stream at the same time, someone shout when I should turn left for Portobello Road, because I think it's up here. Here's a marker for you. Gaz, how are you guys in Liverpool? I'm actually a Liverpool fan. I know lots of people are going to ask me why I'm a Liverpool fan, clearly not being a scouser. Don't forget the Saxon King of South End, no, I won't forget that. Lloyd Williamson School. So give me a shout when you think. Turn left, thanks, John. I'll turn left next street. See, this is brilliant. Oh, really, this is brilliant. People are directing me, this is fantastic. Hi from Redbridge, I saw I missed your name there. Hi, Kwam from Redbridge. So we're going to turn left. This is, um, I can't remember who it was who said turn left. So we're going to turn left into Faraday Road. Is that right? Turn left after the Elgin. Oh, I'm confused now. Turn left after the Elgin. Okay, so you think I should keep going down here, Sean? Okay, we'll go one more street and then we'll turn left, yeah? I'll, um, this is already turning out to be tons of fun. Obviously, I've got to keep my eyes on the road so I don't get um, hit by a car or anything. I might just point the camera around. Turn left, turn left. See, Pac-Man says turn left, turn left at the next one, at the last one. Can I turn left at the one coming up? Oh, a bit of classic West London. Okay, I'm gonna turn left here. Because I think Pac-Man, Pac-Man was screaming to turn left down Faraday Road. I think that's right as well, actually. Faraday Road, turn now. There you go. Lauder, is it Lauder? I've turned left. George from Columbus, Ohio. I love you there. Thanks, George. I was reading um, an article today about people going Bigfoot spotting in Ohio. Is Ohio home of Bigfoot? Do you believe in Bigfoot? Trees, that is. Great pizza place in Portobello by the Westway. I to know where that is. Do I have a great pizza down there once? Because I usually only really cut. Oh, look at this. Sorry. Look at this. Faraday Road. This is a great bit of sort of modernist architecture, isn't it? Look at that. Bob in Clay Hall. Keep on trucking, John in Plymouth. Isn't this great? I apologise for the slightly, slightly shaky footage because I just have this on my iPhone and a normal tripod. Be careful there, there have been attacks in London and why not? And why are you not wearing a face covering? Oh, Bertha, I will, dis I will respectfully not deal with that comment if you don't mind. <laughs> so I'll let someone else deal with that in the comments. <laughs> but I, I, I appreciate your concern. Um, bit of open ground here is with a playground in it that's got the that's got the wildflower that's reclaimed land are there buildings been demolished there oh i'm gonna slip my neck out was that once a bombsite now i think is it turn right here i think we've got portobello road here i think this is portobello road isn't it this is portobello road i'm pretty sure this is portobello road right i've done it sean i've turned right this is portobello road lorda thank you very much the beard is a mask of sorts. Yeah, exactly. It's quite funny. My mask with my beard is um, is an odd sight. It is strange, but small price to pay, isn't it? You know, I'm Portobello Road here. Of course, Portobello Road is going to be quite quiet because the because the market's shut now. Let's stop for a moment on the corner here so you can admire the scene. Portobello Road has changed since the 80s when I spent a lot of time there buying vinyl. You originally joke about it. Bertha, I'm not joking about it. I'm living in the middle of it. We've been living it for 18 months. I'll take it very seriously. A person's got to get outside, move their body around. I tell you, my wife had COVID. There you go. It's a revelation. I probably shouldn't be outside a, on a live stream. A long time ago. Don't worry about it. Portobello Road looks... Yeah, it's so quiet. Well, it would be because it's busy earlier in the day, isn't it? Um, I think it kind of dies after the... Uh, what did you buy on vinyl? Marky Mark to somebody else. I used to buy a lot of vinyl. I've still got it all. I believe in big feet. You're going to walk through Holland Park. Probably won't go through Holland Park itself. Polaroids now have a card on toast types. Yes. You're going down top end down to Notting Hill Gate. Pac Manin. Hello, Brian. Jeff and Hadley. Suffolk. Love Suffolk, as you will know. Um, let's crack on. I had a track press. Whoa, what was your track, Mark? 
It's actually funny enough, I was revisiting my cans of rice project up here and um, so I've just been up here revisiting my Kensal Rise project briefly and the idea there originally was to press the recordings I made of the local community talking about the area onto vinyl and then have a listening booth in the Kensal Rise library but Covid came and that um, stopped it. You can find what you want in, in uh, Portobello Road, I'm sure you can. Let's turn it around again. Uh, I'm off to Cambridge tomorrow. Can you recommend any good walks there? There's some good earthworks near Cambridge. I'm trying to remember what they are. Is it the Gog Magog Hills are near Cambridge? Well done, John from Kilburn. Sorry I missed your walk. Talk with the ones at free. Well, there we go. Oh, try again. Sean, the allotment guy, I sub to your channel. Sean, actually, Sean's got a video, a new video on a new channel launching today at six o'clock. I think it's called Sean's Garden. And I highly recommend that. This, this uh, live stream will probably be wrapped up by um, six o'clock, so you can go over to Sean's. Um, you go, there's Trellick Tower down there, I believe. I sometimes mis misidentify Trellick Tower, but I'm pretty sure that is it. Gold Magog is just outside. Hey, Douglas. I recall your Philibrook yeah. Lost River Walk when I crashed. Yeah, well, parts of the Philibrook did definitely flood. How you doing, mate? Hi, You're all right. <laughs> Thank you. People are lovely. What's interesting now is people are very accustomed to this type of thing. You could think that's a good thing or not a good thing, but it does mean that when people see you doing this, you quite often say hello, join in. Most of the time they just ignore you and think you're an idiot, but sometimes it's nice. Honest John's record shop a bit further down. Should we see if we can go in? I don't think. The lockdown's over in London. Well, actually, Bertha, they are. Lockdowns are over in London, um, according to the government. Obviously, one must still exercise caution. But what's funny, Bertha, uh, you don't, um, a kind comment earlier, is mask wearing in the street has never been mandatory or even recommended in London, which uh, if you live somewhere else in the world, you might think that's really odd. Also, if you live somewhere else in the world, you might have viewed out of the lockdown we did have. There's not really been much of a lockdown because there weren't really many restrictions compared to other parts of the world. I had a friend who spent most of that time in Sri Lanka where they were allowed out for one hour a week. And you're allowed out of the house for one hour a week. That's a lockdown. Oh, sorry. So, no, the restrictions got lifted a couple of weeks ago. So, that you can wear masks when you feel you should. Like, so, everyone still wears them on the tube. Basically, you should wear them when you're inside. It's up to you, really. But I wear them in the pub, on the tube, on buses, transport, trains, etc. like that. Anywhere I'm indoors. I outdoors, though. No, never really been a thing here. Uh, were you affected by the floods in the... I wasn't, Terry, but um, people in the Upper Leightonstone were. On the Phillybrook, the Phillybrook did really flood badly. We've got some lovely artwork here. This is an artwork by um, Fiona Hawthorne. I bought some good records from Honest Johns. Hello from Denmark. Hi, you're Klaus in Denmark. Happy Sunday. I was watching, Klaus, I was watching um, The Last Kingdom uh, last night with my son, season two when the Danes were over here causing a lot of bother, <laughs> ripping the place apart. <laughs> we should get reparations from Denmark for that. It's only joking. But I think you should allow us to have some sort of dual Danish citizenship so we can get uh, an EU passport to go with our British passport. Just, you know, as a bit of a favour for trashing all the monasteries and stuff. <laughs> Seriously thinking about petitioning the Danish government for that. Look what you did to Bark and Abbey. The last game, I love it, yeah. Better than Thrones. Ooh, duh. that's a tricky one. Better than the game, I don't think. Well, don't judge Game of Thrones in the final season. So, here we've got what have we got down here? So, how have I gone past? Let's go. Sorry, let me take it's better if I turn it. You don't need my face, you see that all the time, do you? Thank you for the kind comments I've missed, by the way. Some people have said lovely things about the Wandle video. I saw that one. I'm trying to keep my eyes fixed here. Let's stop for a bit so you can. So there's the Spanish deli over there. There's this place here. What's this? I can't see Honest John's, mate. I can't see Honest John's. Have I missed it? 
got 226 people on the stream now. Danish, Danish Mark of to Henry VIII. Henry VIII was a bit of a bad... Well, we've had quite a few wrong ones, haven't we? But that was after the Danes. Maybe we got that idea from the Danes. <laughs> joking, to my Danish friends and viewers. Only joking, don't want anyone to blame me for our terrible behaviour subsequently. It's a possibility. Where is Honest John's? This has now become... That's a bit of a Banksy-inspired bit there. It's the record shop over the road on the left. Ah, gotcha. Is it the orange place? Come on, we better go over there. Come on. Let's go over to Honest John's. Yeah. Ah, here you go. Is this it? Yes, this it. This is lovely. Like going for a walk with all you. It was great there in the 60s. Was it, Gaz? I bet it was. You lucky person. Yeah, here you go. Honest John's is... Look shut. Also, so for Bertha, in case you're watching, if I were to go into Honest John's, that's when I would put a mask on. There you go. And also, the thing I think, record shops aren't particularly COVID friendly places, are they? Because you have to touch them. And you might, Bertha thinks I'm a bit reckless, but I don't really touch records. Oh, look, the market is kicking. Should we go through the market? You ready? You ready for this? I probably won't talk much. But the market is, uh, the market is in full swing. You ready for a bit of market action, guys? Wow, food. It looks like a lot of people are packing up. Great. Right. Look at this. Some... Unfortunately, did have a, I had a Tesco's meal deal not long ago. <laughs> I should have thought ahead, shouldn't I? But I couldn't really eat and live stream. Live music at this. Let's go. This is actually better than me, look at that bit of pizza. This is better than me recording it and editing it, actually. Oh, wow, look. Should I go through this bit here on the right? You are not reckless if that's the current advice. Yeah, it's, I mean, far right, there's a bar through there. This is basically where they did the last uh, Portobello Film Festival through here, and I screened my Shadow of the Shard film. Oh look, Appen Village by music. Hey! Fantastic. Wow. Love you, John. Thanks for all the adventures. I've been watching them. Oh, thanks very much. Dawn of the Olympus, that's a good name. Better than the name of my channel, it's just me. Nice, good drumming there, what's some good drumming? A bit of dragon action here, what does it say about the dragon? Here be dragons. Historic royal palaces, hang on a moment. The dragon was part of the, was, was, the dragon was part of our Here Be Dragon sculpture produced for historic royal palaces. I'm sure somebody is gonna illuminate me there. My dog Horace needs to shout out, hiya Horace. Jay's dog Horace. Horace, do you wanna go for a walk? Sorry, Jay. Cheeky of me. Uh, Appen Village Pop-Up Cinema. I think this is where the Portobello Film Festival was. We worked in Westbourne Pot Road. Parents support education. They're a great place to walk around. It is crazy, isn't it? I mean, I'm glad I'm live streaming it, actually. Should we go over the road? Do you want to go over the road to the, um, the health and safety hazard back there? Could have, we could go for a beer trim. I do need a beer trim. When it gets to this kind of length, it becomes a job, doesn't it? It becomes a job. Comes the thing. Um, should we go into this bit here? Honest John's just. I went. I went. I went past it. Maybe it was. It looked like it was closed. And also, I can't really go in and live stream from a record shop. John, do you know Day Tripper? I know Tom Outdoors. Abby Barnes, yes. I know, I know Abby Barnes. I was watching Abby the other day. She's doing a bit of cycling at the moment, which looks exciting. Or was it back in the day? This is great, isn't it? So we'll go through this bit here and keep going. So this is like the second-hand clothes. Actually, I'm not going to go through there because that's another sort of space where I would actually normally... I would normally put a mask on because it's undercover. Uh, hey, yeah, uh, my friend from Denmark there. I don't know how to get the um, chat back up. Oh, there you go. Go for a quick half, you've earned it. I, I've got more walking to do. Wow, loads of people there. There are loads of people down here today. It's really interesting, isn't it? If you go down, a lot of people walk around talking to friends and stuff. Um, hi, John. Love your videos. Thanks, Stooge. 
videos in the River Lee. Love your videos. Maggie and Pete. Hi, Maggie and Pete. Acklam Hall back in the 80s. It was a great venue, but there's some good music in there. So we're going underneath the uh, flyover. So we're going to right, we're going to the West Way. This is where I would normally get right, properly stuck in secondhand books. What we got? Shout out if you see something. Sunny Mallorca. Wow, Mallorca. Yeah, it's not really sunny London. Oh look, a bit of Andy Warhol there. From A to B and back again. I'm reading Jonas Mekas's book at the moment. Um, a Dance with Fred Astaire, and he's lots of bits about Andy Warhol. And there, look, that's a nice old edition of On the Road by Jack Kerouac. Hiya, Rascal. Thanks very much. This is a bit of history. There's not a lot, been a lot of history today. Um, a bit of HP Lovecraft. You seen some classic Lord of the Rings first edition? Where was that? Where was the Lord of the Rings? Timothy Leary. Look at that. The politics of ecstasy. Timothy Leary, 24 quid for that Timothy Leary, Paladin edition. I was out with Ian Sinclair yesterday and he gave me, um, what's your average walk length in miles? I try to do about 10 miles is, is a good average for me. Uh, take the Lovecraft, 12 quid for the Lovecraft eh? To be honest with you, Jay, my son um, bought all the Lovecrafts a while ago. It's one of my favourites, got it. Bit of George Orwell. This is, amazing. this is a great book still. I wonder how much the Kerouac's Car tempting, but I've got two editions already, LSD. Yeah, I've never been, I'll, I'm gonna, you might have gathered, some people think with my appearance actually, that I was a, would be into hallucinogenics. I've never been to any of that hallucinogenics or anything, but record still, got a bit of Led Zepp, Pink Floyd. Madonna and Kate Bush, that's an interesting. Uh, great books, they were great books, weren't they? Here we go, CDs, jewellery. What can't you buy down here? What can't you buy? What can't you buy? It's a bit of a shame in a way to be leaving it, isn't it? To be going out into this thing here. Star Wars memorabilia, we'll have to go around for a look at that. Let's go around for a look at the Star Wars stuff. stuff here. Star Wars stuff. Star Wars J. Yep, lol. We love you, John. Please come to Sunny Pool. Yeah, have I been to Pool? I think I might have been there once on a school trip. Funny enough, we went to Swanage. This is where you get the cars coming through the streets. Interesting development. We're going to go down here. We get on the path, probably. Get on the path. Hear that right there, the guy doing fantastic, doing the, um, uh, we don't, another brick in the wall, Pink Floyd on the drums, fantastic. I tell the story occasionally, the, um, my dad always played for a cricket club as a kid, Wuburn Narcovians Cricket Club down in Buckinghamshire, shout out for the brilliant Wuburn Narcovians, who are probably playing today, actually, come to think of it. We played against Pink Floyd when I was a kid, say so we played, I wasn't playing but I was there with my dad and play against Pink Floyd, and it was terrifying. They really scared me, I was about six years old, so it would have been, yeah, about 77, 78. And one of the girlfriends, Pink Floyd, came towards me in a pink jumpsuit, and picked me up and squeezed me and hoisted me into the air, and all the members of Pink Floyd were all laughing. It was terrifying. So I remember when I used to hear that song, A Brick in the Wall, and it had, remember the video, it had the animation of like, um, kids being put for a mincing machine. I was like, brought back uncomfortable memories of being, what's going on over here? This looks like it might be a sort of social center over here. Anyone, any ideas? What a great market, remember to go. Again, I'll do a shout out every now and again to apologize for the jerky footage. Just doing this on my iPhone with a normal tripod, no kind of gimbal thing going on. Um, should we go have a look at this building? It looks like there's some interesting stuff going on here. Fabric of the community, Grenfell Road. Ah, oh, right, okay. Ceres Baker's Electric Cinema. Now, so from Alan Kilburn. Hi, Alan, how are you doing? Free tickets, Eventbrite, Walk on Sunday, South Kilburn, Camden, Grenville Garden, Socialist Artists, Writers, All Well, etc. Check out everyone, Will's thing. Will, stick a, a link in the comment. If it gets, YouTube may not allow it, but I'll go in and change the settings and allow it to come up later. Um, 
fucking end. I remember actually that cocktail. I think I went in there when there was a pub. It's always surprising when you go down like Portobello Road to find things like um, find things like Greg's. You've got Greg's here. Next to Greg's, you've got Tesco's Metro down there. Of course, I would go in Greg's. <laughs> let's, go on the, let's go on the more interesting side of the street. Mustn't forget to uh, look whilst live streaming. If I had an accident whilst live streaming, that'd be terrible, wouldn't it? Do the wetlands, throw by in. I've done, um, yeah, I mean, it's on there, Nick, if you go on my channel. It's on a few of the videos, the wetlands. I go in there a couple of times. Dagenham Brook Walk It's possibly def is definitely one. There's a marshlands walk where I go. Hiya, Roxy. Hi, mate. Greg's his food is terribly, it is terribly salty, apparently. Hi, Steve in Chicago. You're walking around my old manor. Born and raised there, changed so much in the last 16 years. Still recognised, but yeah, but a lot of these places, they still have a character that you can't completely expunge, don't they? Uh, will you say hi to my husband, Matt? Hiya, Matt, how you doing? Annie's husband, Annie, Ma Angie Max, sorry, Angie Max's husband, Matt. Hiya, Matt, how you doing? How's the ankle doing? I was saying, Maggie, it's kind of all right whilst I'm walking. Um, but then the next day it really hurts. So I did a walk with Ian Sinclair yesterday. That's what I was telling you, wasn't I? Did a lovely walk with Ian Sinclair yesterday. Did a lovely walk with Ian Sinclair yesterday over in Tilbury, and that's a video that will be up next week. Um, and Ian gave me a beautiful first edition of uh, Down River, which was published by Paladin. Um, yeah, so that was really great. That's, Fantastic guy in his new book, Gold the Gold Machine. Check it out. And I'm doing some events with Ian at the Wants to Tap about the Gold Machine. That was an amazing walk with Ian yesterday down in Tilbury. So, Tilbury next Sunday. Hi from Cambridge, love the videos. Pembridge Muse. I'm in Hayden's place at the moment, Roxy. Make the world great again. Oh, make the world Greta again. There you go. Bit of political commentary from the streets of Notting Hill. What we got here? Like Cinquecento, house? Neapolitan restaurant. That is nice. No one in there. No one in there. It's like a great restaurant. Some crystals and some other stuff. It's Buddhas. If you want a bit of Buddhas and crystals. It's everything down here, isn't there? How's everyone doing? You all holding up well? well? We've got 288 people on the live stream. We've been going 32 minutes. This is a. This is. I think this is my longest live stream. That of a live stream walk. I do a monthly live stream Q&A with my supporters on Patreon, my brilliant supporters on Patreon. I want to say a massive thank you here to here. You know, fantastic. Camden Town Brewery. Oh, it's back on me again. I should turn it around. Oh, this bearded boy in your trekkers. Ah, oh, hiya. Marking out. I've never been to Oregon. I'd really like to go to Oregon. I think when the, um, when the British were sort of like uh, going to give it away to the American colonies early on, one of the English uh, sort of colonial administrators referred to Oregon as a pine swamp because there was going to be a war between Britain and America over Oregon, who had Oregon. And he said, apparently, we're not seriously going to go to walk over this pine swamp, are we? Oh, sorry if I just accidentally reported a comment. Mark in Ashland. Obviously, Oregon sounds like a great place. Rex. There's a great song about the Tilbury boatman called Rolling Down the River, which an old mate of mine used to sing in the folk clubs. Oh, I wonder if I can find a... Sorry, Alexander, I accidentally deleted your comment. Um, could you repost it? That's me just jabbing the screen with my clumsy fingers. So apologies for that, Alexander. If you could um, repost your comment, I'll read it out. How are you doing? Hey, hey. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> uh, Stephen Bo, you always bring me right back home, John. Thanks for keeping you connected. Again, so I think that, that comment I deleted, I'm really sorry about that, Alexander. I appreciate all the comments, and they just jabbed my phone twice and it deleted your comment. Mannequin, Andy, Andy, would you do a walk club with Tom Outdoors? If someone suggested one, Andy, I think um, Tom does a lot of sort of like wild camping and stuff like that, doesn't he? We were going to try and do one. I think we've, we've communicated. So how about a Fitzrovia walk? There is one on here, Jay, if you go into my channel and, um, and search for Fitzrovia, you'll see a Fitzrovia video. Sorry, I'm just pointing at uh, someone's pointing at VW Golf. 
Alexander, what was your comment, Alexander? I really want to see what it was now. I really regret accidentally. Um, oh, ah, Mannequin59, always catch up with your videos, John, on Sunday afternoons. Been watching since the Nick Papadimitri days. You've built up an amazing archive. Thanks for it. Yeah, that is a long time. Retro V, there we go. Love it. Cool. Sainsbury's local. We're getting slightly less particular here. Going down past the Sally Army. Down here, past the Sally Army. Nice day, John. I'm going to apologise again to Alexander for accidentally deleting your comment there. Uh, this is quite different. Electric cinema coming up. Which side of the street, Sean? I think it's on the right. Electric cinema. Any suggestions? I think we should just keep going down. Oh, wow, look at the distillery over there. How many places like that? Is that actually still a boozer, do you think? Historic special Sunday afternoon tree. Oh, thank you. Is that still a boozer, or do you reckon that is some sort of restaurant? Portobello Road Gin Bar. It's interesting, the return of the Gin Bar, and the Gin Palaces were places of whoa. Thanks for taking us with you. Oh, thanks, Deborah. Right side. I'm dubious about jabbing up my screen to get comments back up now. I've accidentally deleted one. Which, uh, that'll give me nightmares, that kind of thing, because I, I really appreciate people um, taking the time to leave a comment. So I hate the idea that I deleted someone's comment and they might be a bit miffed. Oh, yes, cross the road so we get a decent view of the electric cinema. I haven't been to the cinema since lockdown. Which may not be that surprising, because cinema has been shut for most of the time. But, um, you know, they have been open for some of it. I just haven't been. Because like, you have to sit there with your mask on, don't you? Here's the electric cinema. Look at that. Just Someone just said they're reading Fear and Loathing. And G Max says the weather looks nice. It is. It's raining in Surrey. The walk out to Bishop's... Yes, that was amazing. I loved that. You are five by five, as the saying goes. Love it. Oh, thank you. How's Nick? Nick's all right. Nick's doing well. He's writing. He's walking around his neighbourhood. He's doing well. I haven't seen him since the lockdown. I went and saw him just before. Actually, funny enough, when I was up in Kensal Rise and I walked over to his place. Look at the electric cinema. Isn't that beautiful? I think I've only ever been there once, actually. Which is interesting. I think this is the best way to do it, isn't it? With me just... Uh, is that the cinema with oh, Christy? The murder? Oh, could be. Matt London, what's showing? Um, Summer Off the Rails and The Summer of Soul. Summer of Soul, I think, is a documentary, isn't it? It looks good. I need a drink of water. You have to excuse me if the video goes a bit wonky whilst I have a drink of water. Let me rest it on this bollard uh, whilst I have a drink of water. And you can have a bit of rare, stable footage whilst I go for a drink of water. What's that say? Are oh, the Kensal Rice signs still there? Some of them are, Sean, yeah. Um, I went, I didn't, I didn't go around that many. I went to a few and they were um, usually busy in that area. Love the live feeds. Alexander, are you still there? I deleted your comment by accident. I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> I've already given the impression that I've become slightly neurotic about this. Coming up as a pub, I went to, for a pint in there once. I used to, I've done quite a few evening walks around here, which actually is when I prefer to come round. Here is during the evening. I'm not too sure about the name of that egg place over there. That seems a little bit. That wouldn't. You missed that. Oh, thank you. Did he acknowledge? Uh, sorry. Let me scroll back up. You missed comment again. Sorry, Bertha. Hang on. Let me. I'll find it. You're becoming a real help here. Humble Dave, Matt, Mannequin, Jonathan. So I'm just scrolling back trying to find Alexander's comment. Ah, here you go, Alexander. Ah, no worries. I'm intrigued about which part of London is your absolute favourite. Seems you've lived all over. Also, I've just moved to Leytonstone. I was wondering whether you do walks. Wow, Alexander. Um, I don't have a favourite part of London. I can't choose one. Because I just think, whatever I do, I just think of another place. Obviously, I'm massively, massively fond of where I live. Um, and let's see if I can do it in front of the camera. Let's see if I turn it around. Let's do it like this. Might give Alexander a proper answer to his question. Um, I mean, I'm massively fond of where I live. Leightonstone, Leighton, Leightonstone. Great walking around there. It's amazing. But I also love uh, Islington as well. Where I lived for a number of years where my kids were born up there. And that's really lovely as well. So I, this is, look, <laughs> you can't say this is great. I just don't have a lot of 
personal associations with this part of London, really. I've never lived around here. Have I ever lived in West London? I lived in Chiswick and I lived in South Ken for a little bit. So, do I do walks? Ah, um, oh, Alexander, I am doing some walks for the um, Summer in the Town. Is that what it's called? Summer in the Stone, actually. So if you go to the Summer in the Stone website, they might have listed one already. Um, they're free, but they're limited numbers. So um, you have to book, but only one's been announced. How will I let you know in advance for the next one? Hmm, if you go to my blog, Alexander, send me an email, then I'll have your email address and I'll let you know when the next one's coming up before it comes up. The one I'm doing that is advertised, I think it's, it's a midweek, about half six. When is it? I should know. It's like the 14th of August, I want to say. No, that's a weekend, isn't it? So something like the 16th or the 17th, 18th of August I'm doing. I'm doing one. Uh, free, you've got, to, you've got a book. And then I'm going to do one during the Leightonstone Festival. So if you live in Leightonstone, you'll know that, that day. And then, when's the next one? Look at this street here. Colville Terrace. To be honest with you, earlier on I mentioned this whole idea of doing the spur walk. I think it's called the Grove Spur or the Notting Hill Spur. I think it might be up there, up that street there. Some, there's some proper characters around here. It's a very noisy gun on the other side. Summer in the Stone Lake style. Oh, thanks for that, Sean. Duke of Wenton News. I lived in Bulwer Road. Bulwer Road's great. I'm one of your Sunday fans. Love from Enfield. Ah, oh, hi, Desmond or Desmonda. Great live stream. Oh, thank you very much. Bulwer Road. A video of Steve Nugent. Oh, yes, Steve Nugent is a good call, actually. It is a very good call. Evening. I can see some of a lot of the regular viewers and commenters coming up. Take us for a pint with you, John. Oh, I tell you what, it's bloody tempting, isn't it? I'm not sure about live streaming in the pub, though. Yeah, I think I might incur the wrath of the publican. There are no publicans anymore, are they? I mean, they're just... Well, there are. I mean, do you reckon I should go for a pint down here? The thing is, I want to get home and see my family this evening, to be honest with you. Um, so you'll forgive me if I don't, or if I go for a pint back in Leightonstone where they can join me. If I went for a pint here... What time is it now, anyone? So we started at 5, I'm going 43, so it's 5.43. Big fan. Hi, you're Alex. You're now living in Oxfordshire. You're going to finish the London Loop sometime. Yeah, I'd like to finish it this year. It's the anniversary of London Loop coming up in September, isn't it? I should. Oh, look, the travel bookshop now. Come on. You know all about the travel bookshop, Notting Hill. Notting Hill tra travel bookshop. This is it. This is the location. Pretty charges for photographs. Look at that. So there it is, that is the shop from the film Notting Hill, Hugh Grant. Look, there's Julia Roberts in the window. It's obviously not a travel bookshop anymore. That's a bit sad. Was it ever a travel bookshop? Hi from Milwaukee, historic Milwaukee. I want to see your channel, Historic Milwaukee. That looks really good. I'd love to watch channels of people walking around other cities in the world. That would be great. Look, you can see the hill up here, rising up the hill. Countess Creek runs through here. We've got an old phone box over there. It's difficult to know, isn't it, whether this is authentic or a pastiche of Notting Hill, or is it Notting Hill? This is where we've got the antiques. Antiques, some really colourful, beautiful stuff here. Let's go and look at this. Um, let's go and look at this sort of... <laughs> let's go and have a look at this phone box. Anybody read Forbidden by Soft Spoken Shaman on YouTube? Hugh Grant's not an act. <laughs> There you go, look, look at this phone box. What's happened to it? Is it a phone box? To cool, lift handset. Forgive me for not lifting the handset. I mean, I have got some. Love a rat shop. A rat shop, is that what you call it? Go to the Heathcote. You're right, Jay, I should go to the Heathcote. I was in there yesterday, though. Fancy a red line on a Sunday. I do fancy a bit of red line on a Sunday. Look at this. What's that? Oh, it's a... Uh, it's a cash point. Look, I love these. Look, Reese Herbert, uh, aka Digger D. Born and grew up here. Digger D. My kids listen to Digger D. Digger D. I think I must have heard some Digger D. We've got some, look over here. Admiral Vernon Antiques Market. Don't forget the walking commuter. Ah, oh, the walking commuter. That's, do you know what? I have not watched that, I don't think. Go back on this side. Look, can you see here? Try not to get run over by doing it in the road, but you need to see the road. Look, 
you can't see, it doesn't show the contours, but there's quite a steep hill here. And when I've walked through here, it's always been sort of in the evening, often connected to a screening at the Portobello um, Film Festival, which I love, Portobello Film Festival. I think I've shown three films, four films, uh, three films at least. One of them under the Westway in a pop-up cinema. And uh, when I come up here, you notice this topography, and I've always wanted to walk it as if I were walking, you know, when it was all fields and all that. Look at this, so we're going uphill. I know you can't see it. I think I should get myself a little gimbal for doing this, shouldn't I? Earl of Lonsdale coming up on the left. Do you recommend it, uh, Callie? Earl of Lonsdale. The problem is around here, it's going to be really busy, isn't it? Birth is, uh, it's really pretty safe around there. Yeah, it is. I mean, everywhere is really. Look at this. Little muse. Vernon Yard. That's got to have a story, Vernon Yard. The Earl is a gem. Well, if you say it's a gem, the thing is, it's going to get really boring if I go in there. My first pipe. Well, is it really, Jay? <laughs> Actually, it's where my, foot, my son's first pub drink was. My eldest his first pub drink was in the Heathcote. It was some sort of fruity cider. <laughs> Hi, Chris, how are you doing? I'm not jabbing on the comments to bring up the old ones anymore because I end up causing problems. So that's the Earl of Lonsdale over there. It does look like a nice pub, doesn't it? I'm not madly comfortable with the idea of taking, just going in the pub and having a pint on a live stream. I'll be honest with you, I feel like I'll be <laughs> stretching my appeal slightly. The gold was a good boozer, but I think it's been converted. Hi, Cypress Insight low power mode for a moment there that might have interrupted the live stream. I am in Labrook Grove. I am in Labrook Grove. Let's see how far we can get. I can't use my battery pack and my microphone at the same time. So either we could just, uh, here you go, let me show you a map. So you are here. We're still going down Portobello Road. I reckon we'll go down, I reckon we'll make it to Notting Hill Gate. And then I might call it quits and jump on the central line. How do you fancy that? Let's keep going. So look, we're going uphill again. So hang on a moment. Hang on a moment. So we've got, we've got the hills. Carried. The hill seems to reach a little bit of a flat point. That could have been flattened out for the building up of the... And then we're still going uphill. This is... This might well be gimbal for an iPhone. Yeah, you can get iPhone gimbals quite... The central line's not working. <laughs> That's going to make my journey home a bit awkward, isn't it? Hi there. Wow, central line's not working. That's a pain. Anyway, never mind. Let's not think about that. If I didn't care about seeing my family this evening, I would uh, I'd walk home. Roxy, you go past Pembridge Muse. Don't forget to give John a thumbs up. Oh, thanks, Brian. Burning Yards Recordings was an independently owned record label. We've got 348 people on the live stream at the moment. This is amazing. Good stuff, John. Thanks, Tony. I'm really enjoying this live walk, by the way. Are you guys enjoying it? I mean, the only thing that this time around, I've got a good signal connection, but I don't have, I'm not happy with the lack of stabilization, personally. Because I've been using the um, DJI Osmo to shoot most of my walking footage lately. And that's got insanely good stabilization on it. You can really throw the camera around. Whereas, so I've got used to this kind of really buttery smooth stabilisation. Look at this place. Gallery. Gallery 84. Sorry about that, I had an interruption to the stream then. I don't know why that was. Um, <laughs> that's cool, Bertha, yeah. Central line is fine. The circle line, which isn't running. Oh, thank you. Buffering here. No, sorry, yeah. Hopefully the buffering will have ended now. We all get bits of buffering from time to time, I think. First time, look at this, look, Denby Close. This is cool, look at this place. You've got Alice's here. I actually don't know what Alice's is. And then you've got Denby Close, previously Denby Muse. Look at this. Watching from Manchester and loving it. Oh, thanks very much. Sweet shop, is it a sweet shop? Boy, I think it's like ephemera, isn't it? I think, I might be wrong, yeah. I mean, it should be a sweet shop, shouldn't it? There's like china, look, pots and stuff. I have a spare gimbal if I can do that. Oh, that's very sweet of you, Jay. You don't have to do that. I have wonderful people on Patreon who make donations to the channel, so I've got funding for equipment, which is great. I've been able to buy some new, so I've been able to buy some sort of new audio equipment and a new camera and stuff. It's 
been great. Look at these. Look, England. That's very kind of you, Jay. That's unbelievably kind of you. I'm an Englishman living in Missouri, Mr. Mel Blighty. News feature. Ah, oh, is that the news feature in Alfie? Look at these footballs. USA, England versus USSR, Wimbledon, 1958. Look at that. 50, oh, England versus Port. That's the World Cup, 66. That's going to set you back a pretty penny. I'll just spare a teapot if you want one, John. Yay, Hawkwind. I've got a couple of teapots. Enough, I never use them. Hang on, I want to take a bit more of a moment. Alice's quaint shop offering eclectic assortment. Alice's was in Paddington. Look at that. Alfie. 5G is the next for UHD streams. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how much 5G we've got in London, though. I'm a bit sceptical. Has 5G conspiracy, uh, conspiracy theorists who think it's doing evil things? It's people like me who think it doesn't actually exist because I've never seen it anywhere. I've checked the engineer's portal at work. It is operating. Oh, thank you, John. Are you enjoying the live stream? Let me plug in some power. I'll plug in some power now so that we have power for a bit. Um, the audio may not be great for a little bit, but you'll have to forgive me because we need we need power, don't we? Without power, we haven't got anything. Right, so I've. The audio may be a little bit dicey for a little bit, just so I can charge up my phone a bit. Um, what's your record steps in a day, Brian? Look at the video I did of Epic Lee Valley Walk, I think it's called. And on that one, I walked from Leytonstone to Hartford, but I did it kind of quite a long route. I think it was 32 miles in the end. So I can't remember how many steps that is. 40 odd thousand steps. Hey, you're from Canada, British Columbia. Oh, the audio is fine, great. The audio is actually surprisingly still good. Oh, that's good, Marco. Well, maybe we don't need it. I'm going to leave them tucked into my ears because I don't think. Uh, now I'm plugged into the battery pack. These are the wonders of modern technology. Look, here's another great shop. Cheers from Bournemouth. Audio isn't dicey, it's loud. Oh, that's good. Audio is good for where I am. Good, excellent. Audio is even better. There you go. Sam, that's more like that. That's a great shop, isn't it? Oh, God, that's my. That was my ugly mug then, wasn't it? Hang on a moment. Hello from Hong Kong, look at this shop. Jess Weston, that's amazing, isn't it? So many wonderful sights and sounds. If you're into your vintage cars, that's a interesting, interesting car. Sounds okay, oh, that's good to know. Good audio here, good. As soon as it gets a bit shaky and windy, let me know and I'll put the, uh, I'll put the headphones back in. But for now, more important to actually have power. See, look, that, Spur walk, I was talking about. Yes, this is Portobello Road, Chesto, ah, Ch Ch Chepstow Villas. That's where I think the spur walk goes around Chepstow Villas, up around there. That's look, that's a hill. Look, you can see down there. I mean, it doesn't come out on video, does it? But you're definitely going down. You can live stream. I don't think I get a signal on the on the underground though, Sean. Um, yeah, definitely a big hill. Going up Chepstow Villas, that's definitely on that spur walk. I think that spur walk goes from whatever road is down there, up here, and then around goes through Holland Park. So we'll have to do that one week. Here I am. Some uh, Chepstow Villas. Hang on a moment, I've lost my Portobello Road. It was crafty the way they did that, Portobello Road. So we kept going down Portobello Road. We get to Labrook Grove, don't we? Do we? Yeah, should we keep going down Port about a ride? I don't know what to do. Have they stopped the festival? I smell a river nearby, John. That's right. Uh, Counters, well, is it the Counters Creek running through here? It does go down. Very clear pictures, very clear sound. Well, that's great to hear. Please don't retire So me and my partner love. I ain't retiring anytime soon. This is, I lose my bearings a bit here. I'm gonna be honest with you. I do lose my bearings a bit here. I'm gonna keep going down Port about a ride because I, I think I need to turn some. But I might normally look at my map at this point. Yeah, this is where I would possibly use my phone to orientate myself. So maybe you could help me out. If I wanted to go to Notting Hill Tube Station, which way would I go from here? I'm carrying on down Portobello Road, past the, here you go, look at this. Ruby from M22. George Wells on the blue plaque, where? where which blue plaque? They just walked past one. That's that church. Let's go back. Someone just said George Orwell's on the blue plaque. Can't miss an Orwell. 
how different from East London it is very different to that roundabout, I think. But I think I'll stick to my Will Self witterings. I can't beat a bit of Will Self. I was thinking about Will Self today, actually. What's that book, How the Dead Live? It's very apt sometimes. Where's the blue plaque I missed now? Mm, no, I'm going to carry on down Port Bell Road. I, um, I think it might rain soon. Turn right, turn next right and then left at the traffic lights. Thank you very much for that. We need a GPS in your job. Keep going to the end of Port Bella Road. At the end, here, it turns left. So we've got different advice here. Look, it's a lovely little... Self and Patrick are good friends. And he said, yeah, they are actually. At the bottom of Port Bella Road, turn right into, what was that? John says, at the bottom of Port Bella Road, turn right into Pembroke Villas and then the tube station is at the end of the road. Huh. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't have got that. It's got, I think we're going to get a bit drizzly here, to be honest with you. Self is so, yeah, Will Self, so I've, all my interactions with Will Self have been great. I've always found him to be a really lovely guy, actually. Very kind, very kind gentleman, actually. I really like Will. He's a great guy. What's the story with this building? We're back in the building. Is it a church? Is it a community centre? Oh, it's a cafe. It's a cafe. God, we've been going 57 minutes now. It's getting up 400 people on the screen. 57 minutes. This is great. This is quite a verdant part. Look, there's another little muse here. Look. Muse. This is actually, if I was going to record this video, I think I would just do it as one take. I've been thinking about doing that. Simon Close. That's got another little muse. Doesn't look like a very old muse, that one, though, does it? Is there a song about every major road in London? Is there a song? Whoa. That's a good, actually, um, David, who uh, sometimes on the videos, I wonder if he is on here. David was doing a project a, sort of about that subject, actually. Lemonade, you get lemonade in the street here, fresh lemonade. Look at that. Fresh lemonade. This is a lovely street, isn't it? So are we thinking then that a monthly live walk is a good idea? of hands for that I don't know how we would maybe someone could put that in a comment and then uh, or maybe I should put in a comment and then you everyone could click yes 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 yeah and everyone could click thumb um, could click like on the comment couldn't they or thumbs down if you don't if you think well once a month is a bit too free here comes the rain I think this phone might be vaguely waterproof um, Vaguely waterproof. I wouldn't want to test that theory, but rain would be all right. Yes, yes, defo. Yes, to a month beyond. Yes, yeah. I'm going to have to do it. I don't know. <laughs> What's a muse, Ali? A muse? Well, I think a muse is a place where they used to kind of keep. This is what I read anyway. A muse is a place where they used to keep falcons, isn't it? Isn't that, isn't that right? Isn't that where the name comes from? A muse where they, where they would keep their hawks for hawking. Um, I think a lot of them now tend to have been where there were stables at the grand houses, you know, when they had their carriages and things. I'm not sure Hawking was that popular. <laughs> but all the muses in London could be accounted for by places where people kept their hawks. Look at these houses, aren't they beautiful? I reckon this house is of particular significance. Who lived there? Oh, I have no idea. I just like the colour. Oh, you just like the colour scheme? Oh, I thought that was like the house of a but famous there's person. there's something up there about George. George Orwell? Yes. Ah. He so lived in that one. I'm live streaming and someone mentioned that. Yeah, no, just take Thank you. Ah, oh, look. There you go. Look, George. So someone, Leonard's put the actual definition of the Orwell. Here he is. George Orwell. And now when did he live here then? I'm a bit short-sighted. He lived here 19... Well, there's just these dates, aren't they? Because, of course, we saw him in Canterbury Square, didn't we? We saw the house where he was living when um, 1984 was published, where he wrote part of Animal Farm. This is where George Orwell lived. He doesn't give his dates, though, which is a little bit iffy. I'm not saying he obviously did live there, didn't he? 
but I wish they put the dates up there. These houses are really lovely, aren't they? All right, here's what I reckon. I reckon the Residents Association give them money to paint their houses. This is an interesting building. Obviously not originally a house, I'd say. It's funny, isn't it, when you see like the old stable blocks and things like that, it makes you realise just not that long ago how very different the sound and the smells and the shape of London would have been. Look, Porta Bella Muse, strictly private, which would exclude any kind of like uh, live streaming down there. So you can imagine what it would have been like when there were horse-drawn carriages going around here. 100 years ago, people were still using horse and cart. Well, less than 100 years ago, people were still using horse and cart in the, in the 60s, weren't they? There's images of people doing uh, deliveries by you know, beer drays and things. I think they're still using horse and cart, weren't they, in the 50s after the war? Milk, I think, sometimes was still delivered by horse and cart after the war. Oh, look at that, the sun in Spain. I have been in that pub. That actually is all right, that pub. You tend to think up here, they don't need to be any good to get away with it because people are going to drink it if it was a rubbish pub. But it's, um, look at that, sun in splendor with a secret. Hi, John, live once a month. This is nice, feels like we're out on a walk. Oh, that's great. Turn right, okay, James. Oh, Sean, sorry. Sean, your video is going live. Your video's gone live, your new channel's gone live. When this live stream ends, everyone head over to Sean's Garden with Sean's new channel, which I'm very excited about. It's a new adventure for Sean, a whole new plot. You are here. Okay, turn right, I got it. I don't reckon even I can't get lost from here. George Orwell lodged there in 1927. So how does that fit in with the timeline of his time in the colonial service then? 1927, what was Orwell doing? When was he in Burma? Orwell was in Burma at what, in 1920? No, I was very tempted to go in the pub, but... So Orwell... Someone looked that up. I was just trying to think, because Orwell was in the colonial service, was he? He was in Burma. Burmese Days, I think, it's published in, what, 33? So perhaps he worked on Burmese Days when he was living there. Maybe that's when he just come back from Burma. In the, what was he in? The Indian Colonial Police Service. If you've not read any Orwell, Burmese Days is one of my favourite Orwell books, actually. Um, Covid numbers must be very low. So Joseph London and no lockdowns. Where are you, Bertha? Covid numbers aren't very low. <laughs> That's the paradox. That is the paradox. They're low now in a lot of other places in the country. But they've been, it's been very bad here. So if they're low now, it's just a reflection of how bad it was in the past. Burma still is Burma. Oh, Myanmar, sorry. No, it's Myanmar. But when it was part of the Raj, it was uh, Burma. Look at this place here, yeah, this house. This will always just be one of my markers when coming to Portobello Road. 393 people on the stream, that's incredible. Correct on his return from Burma, ah. Interesting, yeah, Burmese Days, I think it's a really powerful book. I thought it would be a really good film, actually. And it's funny, because there's been films of Keep the Aspidistra Flying, obviously 1984, famously. Uh, there's the animation of um, Animal Farm. I don't know if any uh, homish Catalonia hasn't been made to a film, but... It, Ken Loach's film, Land and Freedom, I think is heavily inspired by Homage to Catalonia. Clergyman's Daughter's great story. I mean, I love that. Keep the Estrogenist of Lines, great. Look at these guys here. This is what people come to this area for. Now, is Record and Tape Exchange down here? I bet, I bet there's a number of people on the stream have used Record and Tape Exchange. It's more kind of a little bit kitsch, but you know, I don't mind a bit of kitsch. Which is all right, it's got its place. A bit of jewellery. Where is Record and Tape Exchange? Oh, is there Sugar Brush Records is there? Or oh, AstraZeneca not accepted it yet? Really? Oh, that's the one I had. I had the AZ uh, vaccine. <laughs> that's going to that's gonna get really boring, isn't it? So when people are going, talking about their vaccines, like, yeah, <laughs> you've either had it or you ain't, <laughs> basically. It was an injection, didn't really hurt much. Not more, not more to say, really. Um, but what is more interesting is, there you go, hang on a moment, hang on a moment. I think it's over here. So over here we have, what have we got? So we've got, I think, so you've got the comic exchange over there, haven't you? And you've got the book exchange. 
think the uh, Notting Hill Record and Tape Exchange is along here somewhere. And if you want to work there, they give you a test, and it's famously a really, really hard test. Has anyone on the stream ever done the test? And when I was, um, one of the very few times in my life when I was unemployed, when I just left Poly, City Poly, although by then it was some ridiculous university. What was it? London Guildhall University, I think. But, um, yeah, I went, they, a job came up there, and I went and did the test. Was that a bit of buffering then? Did we get a bit of interruption? We're still going. So I went and did the test at the Record and Tape Exchange, which is furiously hard. And, um, oh, sorry. And I, I didn't quite get enough. It's really my... So my stream's being interrupted by a notification on my phone, which is annoying. Going across the road. Luckily, I think we're gonna have to end the stream very soon anyway. Coming up to Notting Hill Tube Station. See if we can find the record and tape exchange. Prince Albert over the road there. By the way, I should give a shout out actually, if you like live walks, there is a guy who uh, was commenting on the videos and watching them. I think he's called Lad Mob, I think. He does lots of live walks. He does, like, sometimes he does like three or four a day and they're like seven, eight hours long, which is a heroic effort. He might even be watching this one. I don't know, he's probably out streaming somewhere. Where is the nice... Well, what happened to the tap, record and tape exchange then? Someone in here would know for sure. Um, okay, so I don't know if we still got... we still got comments. I'm going to be ending the live stream just up here. <laughs> At Notting Hill Station. Uh, talking non-stop for an hour is, <laughs> is quite difficult. I seem to have lost um, comments. I seem to have lost the chat. Um, so I don't know if the chat's been disabled. So I'm going to end the stream here. I seem to have lost the chat, I'm afraid. So if I wasn't replying to any messages, I apologise. Um, let's just go a little bit further so you can see the station. And I'll jump in the comments. If you leave any comments, I'll jump in the comments and um, deal with them there. Here we have Notting Hill Underground Station, which is a great place for me to end this live stream. And I can head back to Leytonstone and grab a pint there. No temptation is going to Waterstones. So thank you for joining me on that live stream, on that walk through uh, Labyrinth Grove, Portobello Road, down here at Notting Hill Gate. Um, been a brilliant experience. So it looks like we might have to do it on a regular basis, right? We have to choose areas where we've got good, solid signal. And as I always like to say, I look forward to seeing you on the next walk, wherever that may be. See you then. Bye bye. I'll work out how to turn off the live stream now. <laughs>